Alright, what's going on everyone? So today in this video, what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be unboxing a 16-year-old Supreme t-shirt. So that makes this t-shirt as old as me. Now, it's a few months younger than me because it was made in 2003. I was born in 2002. Sort of see the difference there. So a little bit apart, but really old to say the least. And I think it's pretty dope tea. And I'm really going to show you all that, describe the history behind it and all that. And you know, just go over it because that's really what the point of this video is. I'm also going to be filming another video here right after this one. And you all can take a guess at what it will be. Uh, it's going to be a pretty good one. I'm excited with that idea and this one of course too i'm really just i want to show you all this tea but that's really it for the intro so we're gonna be straight into it subscribe if you're new and want more videos like this let me know down below if you do want more sort of og vintage boxings let me know and also drop a like in this video too because it also shows me if you all want more videos like this let's go for 200 likes on this video if we could do that that'd be great make my day uh but yeah early saturday morning right now filming a video Sure, <laughs> let's get started. Now, the guy I got this piece from, I'm gonna try and describe him without saying his name. I will say his name soon, but basically he was an artist and he did pass away in 2010. Now, he was sort of a graffiti artist. He was also a hip hop artist. He made two albums, the by Chronicles of the, and then it sort of cuts off, and then This Is What You Made Me. And those are two of his things right there. He died at age 57. And it says sort of like a gothic future artist, graffiti writer, painter, art theoretician, and sculptor. So we have this piece right here, which represents all that. And it's one of his, uh, you know, this is obviously made seven years before he died in 2003. And he got a collaboration with Supreme. And, you know, he has a lot of really interesting work. He looks like an interesting guy. Now, the name of this guy, we're going to say in a second, but we got to unbox it first. So hopefully you get the history of all that. It's really a lot of New York art influence because he is from New York. That's where he was born. I think that's where he died, too. But we're gonna open this. I'm gonna try and be as careful as I can. But there y'all go, y'all can see in there. Sorry, I had to take a quick break there, but basically the name of this guy and the way you pronounce his name is Ramelzi, if I'm correct. It's like Ramelzi or Ramelzi, one or the other. But we're gonna get off the t-shirt here. Try and be careful with it. I'll show you all the design in a second. It is green. By the way, I usually wouldn't purchase, but I have it there. And this guy sent a note, so we're gonna read this. He said, Thank you, Tristan. Shout out to him. And then on the back, he said, right here, he said, Ramelzi is an amazing, by the way, he's got some real history in art and music. He even made art for the Supreme stores. Very big right there. One of his pieces is on the homepage in the background. So there you go. Shout out to this guy for giving me some more info. Uh, I don't know if he wants me to put his information, so I'm not going to put it just to keep it sort of private, but shout out to him. Like, if he does actually reach out to me and say yeah, he wants some uh, credit, I'll pin a comment on it maybe, or I'll put it in the description. You guys will see it. It'll be like tagged. But yeah, he's got some history there, and he's also made art at the Supreme Store. So shout out to him for the info. Uh, that's really helpful so I can educate you all more on it. But we're going to get into actually unboxing this piece. Uh, the name of this t shirt is the Rip. Cord Rex uh, Supreme Ramelzi t shirt. Y'all can see it right there. Sort of threw it a little bit. Let's actually get this out. It's in very, very good condition. I think he said, like, worn very lightly, but 2003 Supreme right there. Ripcord Rex, and y'all can see the design on that. It just, it like, even like I can smell it a bit. Like, it just smells old. And like, y'all can see there the Ripcord Rex. And then here's the tag. The tags have not changed too much, as you all can see. Y'all can peep that. And then underneath the tag has all the info right there. And there you go. So Ripcord Rex, I'm not exactly sure what that is, so I'm gonna look this up. Okay, so I just looked up what this actually is, what Ripcord Rex is, and I can say the least, Ramelsi is a very interesting guy. He did pretty much everything. I'm looking at it, people say he did graffiti, visual work, sculptures, and all that. And this is actually uh, something that he designed. And basically he would dress up as this and he would perform in front of people. So he would dress up as what I guess you call Ripcord Rex. And you can see he has a little uh, mask that he sculpted there. And yeah, he would, I guess, dress up like that and perform if I'm correct uh, in front of people. You know, he's again, visual artist, a lot of things. And this is sort of like expressing. So I really respect the work there. His career was 25 years long is what people are saying um, or what Google at least informed me about. But yeah, I got this tea now. It's very old. So I'm gonna take very good care of it. But the design, I mean, I think the design's pretty nice. You know, I've looked up some of it's like, oh, Supreme Mu Museum, because this is a actually pretty OG. And the condition on it literally looks flawless. Like, I, this may be dead stock, honestly, or like 9.5, 9, like 9.8 out of 10. Like, I cannot tell that this has been worn really at all. There's no marks or anything. But uh, yeah, OG unboxing. We got Ripcord Rex right here. And uh, yeah, to say the least, I'm very happy to have this because it's a bit of art history and Ramelzi actually seems to be a pretty cool guy making art for Supreme stores. I mean, not bad. But yeah, I can tell y'all it surely does 
fit a bit different uh, back then. But if you guys do want more unboxings like this, please go ahead and subscribe below and drop a like. Let's even hit 200 likes on this video and I will bring you all another good unboxing and maybe I may have a giveaway coming in store for two Supreme Shower Caps. I don't really need them, I just had them. So if you all maybe want one of those or try to win one, then you all can go ahead and subscribe and drop a like. So you know, let me know if y'all want that. But um, yeah, just thank you all for watching this video. Really old Supreme t-shirt. I even feel a bit like nostalgic wearing it because again, that's like around where I was born so like it means it means a decent amount to me and this guy seemed to be making some pretty cool stuff so shout out to Ramazel obviously he did pass away but he got some pretty cool stuff in New York especially with Supreme but that's really it thank y'all for watching and peace out